Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming a book review and I am reviewing The Grey Sisters by Joe Tregiari. This one I got from Nathagalli and it has already been released. It was released the 24th of September and I'm not reviewing it until now because it didn't fit in my video schedule. I read it in like the end of August, so it's a while ago since I read it. This one follows Dee and Spider. They are two girls who are going on this road trip Trip together with another friend as well and they're going on this road trip because they're going to the crash site of their siblings. One of them had a brother and the other one had a sister who, who crashed in this plane crash two years ago and they're going to the crash sites to try to get some closure and saying goodbye etc. What I found really ironic is actually that I was sitting at the airport waiting for my plane when I read this book and it's this the opening scene is them sitting at the plane, the ones who, who died. The, the beginning is that the ones who are crashing on the plane is sitting on a plane and then the plane starts crashing and I was literally sitting at the airport reading this and I was gonna go on plane and I finished the book I believe on the plane right as well because I finished it in one sitting because there was a waiting time and you know play time there's nothing else to do but read and I was just like ironically it has a plane crash and I'm like thanks anyway that was besides the point we also follow this other character named Ariel and she lives in a mountain nearby where the plane crash was and like we're all like they live nearby these mountains in general and there's a lot of talk about the mountain and how they made like kind of mythology if I remember correctly and yeah she lives like this mountain life where she like she lives in this, I'm not gonna even know how to say what it is, but she, it's this compound slash village slash society. She lives there up in a mountain and they go out in the forest to hunt. It's, it's not a nice place at all. Like they go to school, but like since it's so far away to go to the school, no one actually bothers to go. So like they don't get any education and they don't have any like modern medicine there. So like if people get hurt, they like, can't get help. And that's what happens. She and a few of the other of the people that live there, they go out into the forest to live there for like two weeks. So be accepted into this test so they can go into the army in this camp and one of them gets attacked by a bear and he is basically dying and they are not allowed to take him to the hospital because they don't have contact with like the outside world. I thought all that was kind of confusing because they do have contact with them, they know people well like in the town and then the people in town know they exist but they are seen upon as like the people who live in the wilderness kind of like they are separate but they know about each other. So yeah, it was a bit weird. Actually, like, talking about weird, this whole book was so strange. I thought it was gonna be like a mystery thriller kinda, because that's also what it says in the synopsis. But I don't feel like it's a mystery or thriller. It was very uncomfortable when you realize the themes and what the book is really about, because it's very traumatic. It's like, I don't know how to say it without like, saying too many details but like without spoiling I would trigger warn it for sexual assault, violence, drug abuse, kidnapping and just generally really traumatic events and emotional abuse and verbal abuse and I feel like I could go on and all these themes are handled very badly I believe. I feel like it was never approached in a healthy way it was just there and all these horrible things has happened to different characters but it's never explored or like talked about in a proper way it's just there to be horrible I felt like of course the two main characters that go into this road trip they have lost their siblings and they have been to therapy and like they talk about loss a lot because of this but like it's it's not enough for all the other heavy things that the books carry and it's like never a warning for it like you don't know exactly what the book is about going in like I guess that's part of a mystery but the mystery is very very serious I feel like it was a very serious theme in the way that the people lived and how horrible it actually is when you think about it and that horribleness was not treated the way it should have been I feel like I feel like it was so horrible but 
they never make it out to be that horrible as it is. Other than those parts where I feel like, as I said, the subject that is in this book is not approached well, I just feel like overall the book is not really that interesting. Like, of course, it's sad that these two main characters has lost their siblings, but like, I don't really care about them. I feel like I never got to know them and the writing didn't match with me. We get like, sort of not, I wouldn't say flashbacks, but we get like explanations of who was together with who or who knew who. Like, it just feels really flat because we never got to see them all together, kinda. Because they care so much about each other, but I don't care about them, so why would I care of all the things that's happening to them? And overall, it just I just feel like the whole book unraveled at some point. Like, I thought at one point it was interesting because, as I said, Aria lives in this compound thing which has a very, as I said, bad background and what it really is. And I thought I was interested to learn about her world but then I was sort of in like this place where I thought I felt like, is this fantasy? Is this like another kind of world, just like urban fantasy? But it wasn't. And I know like it was a realistic book, so I should have known this, but it just had this fantasy vibe. And then it just like turned into something else. And that just says something about how this was approached, thinking I felt like it was almost kind of fantasy because it was approached in this way. But yeah, brainwashing was real and again, trigger warning for that as well, I would say, because again, very serious things here that is not approached well. There is However, also an of romance in here, but we don't get to see that much of it because they are they are separated and when they are finally reunited, it's like in the end of the book, so you don't really, you know, get that much of it on page, but at least it was there. As you might tell, I kind of find it hard to talk about details of what really bothered me here, because even though I'm warning you of all these things, I don't want to spoil it. But plot overall was just like, kind of boring, it didn't intrude me enough. I thought the beginning I said was interesting but when it got to a certain point I was kind of very tired of it. It's not a long book, it's only 288 pages so it went by very very quickly. Um, I feel also the end was a bit dissatisfying again. We get this very long ending in this I would say fight and it's just very stretched out and then the ending was so thin of like the resolution and I just feel like we could have less of the fighting and more of the resolution to see these characters after all these things happen to them. We don't get that really, I would say. It's more like, oh yeah, yeah, they, they did go to the doctor, but yeah, great. <laughs> so if you can't tell, I kind of didn't like this book. It wasn't really something for me. Not only because it was strange, because I don't mind strange books, but just because it was a strange book that just didn't carry the weight of what it wanted to give. I just don't really know the point of the story either, kinda. I thought it was gonna be something about like sisters finding each other, like really deep bonds between sisters, since you call it great sisters. And since there was like this talk about the mountains, I thought maybe it was gonna be like, maybe something they believed in where they came from and like going to the mountains, something. But it turned out to be something completely different and I did not expect that. So kudos to the book for doing that. But overall, I just didn't enjoy myself that much. It was entertaining, kinda, but that was not enough. It just it wasn't a story for me at all. So I think I ended up giving it like two out of five stars and I wouldn't really recommend it. I would recommend another strange books with strong relationships between the characters and just better writing. But it's not the worst book I ever read. I just feel like it wasn't for me. And I think that covers what I wanted to say. I was a bit all, all over the place in this video, but when am I not? And I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, The Great Sisters is already out and I will leave a Goodreads link down below if you want to check it out. Where the synopsis is very, it's very vague, I feel like, but I guess this is a mystery thriller thing. It's called a psychological thriller compared to like Sadie and I feel like it's nothing like it. So if you like Sadie, do not pick this one up because Sadie was great in so many ways and this one it just doesn't feel like a thriller or a psychological trailer. It feels like a weird drama and then with a mystery aspect to it, I would say. But yeah, that's just my opinion. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching and you will see me soon in a new video. Bye!